What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What is up guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today, uh, we're going maximum jank. We are going as far out as we could possibly go. This is a five color deck, unpredictable ultimatum is what this list is called. Uh, I did find it online and I, I mean, I was sold immediately. Uh, there was no way I wasn't going to play this deck. Uh, it is a Zerta deck and the idea is that uh, with unpredictable cyclone out, you can cycle through some of these sorceries that we have. Uh, and ideally hit some of these uh, ultimatums, which we do have all five ultimatums, uh, which is a little ridiculous. But uh, to kind of go through the deck here, Zerta, uh, three, three for three. Uh, but the, the real thing here is that activated abilities that are not mana abilities cost two less to activate. Now, what that means for us is like the cycling on uh, any of these like two mana cyclers is actually down to one. Uh, it can't reduce it to less than one, but it does just make it a little bit more efficient so we can kind of go off quicker. Uh, now, obviously, this is just a 3-3 three, three card. You can throw this out there if you want to and make sure things can't block, but it's really not the goal of the deck. So uh, looking in our two-drop slot here, we do have four full Paradise Druids. Uh, we're going to need some ramp. Uh, so this is going to help us get there. You'll notice we've got a few ramp cards, Gross Spiral as a four of as well, and then actually Migration Path, which is a prime perfect card for this list uh, for multiple reasons. But one, uh, it just gets us basic lands, which is fantastic. But on top of that, uh, it has cycling itself and it is a sorcery. So when we cycle it with Unpredictable Cyclone out, it can hit any one of these ultimatums, which is really, really nice. Uh, Teferi here is a way to control the game, only running a two of, uh, don't need too many of them. It's a great tempo play, uh, but it's not really a permanent way to deal with a lot of stuff. It does also shut down counter spells, which is pretty crucial for this list. Uh, Narset of the Ancient Way actually has a four of here. Uh, so not only does it allow us to, uh, you know, gain a little bit of, life, bit of life, spend a little bit of extra mana, uh, but you can draw a card, discard a card and destroy, you know, target non or uh, excuse me, target creature. Uh, or Planeswalker, which is great uh, if you've got the right cards. Uh, and then eventually, if you emblem, you know, you can really, really do some damage, though I don't really think that's the goal of this. Uh, like we said, Unpredictable Cyclone, kind of the backbone of this deck. Uh, the idea is to get this out as, as quickly as possible. <clears throat> and then anytime you cycle a card that is uh, of, you know, a specific card type, you essentially go and cast the next in uh, card type instance uh, that you find in your deck. So really, really stupid card. Uh, we've actually tried to break this once before uh, and it didn't work for us. So I'm hoping that this list is a little bit better. Uh, looking at the, the kind of top of our curve here, obviously we've got all five ultimatums, all of which are really, really good. Ruinous ultimatum, destroy all non-land permanents your opponent controls pretty good. Genesis Ultimatum, look at the top five cards of your deck. Put uh, any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield, the rest into your hand. Pretty good. Uh, Eerie Ultimatum, return any number of permanent cards with different names from the graveyard to the battlefield. Also pretty good. Uh, Inspired Ultimatum, target player gains five life, uh, deals five damage to any target, and then you draw five cards. Uh, and then Emergent Ultimatum, search your library for up to three monocolored cards with different names and exile them. Uh, an opponent chooses one of those cards, shuffle that into your deck. You may cast the other cards without paying their mana cost, uh, which is really, really interesting. Uh, so, and then obviously uh, some cyclers here. So we do have Shark Typhoon, just obviously one of the best cards I think we could hit. Uh, really, really good. And then uh, Boon of the Wish Giver, obviously a really nice card as well. Even just uh, cycling into this and drawing four cards, pretty good. Uh, our land base. We are running, if I'm not mistaken, it's, t oops, uh, I believe it's 25 lands. Uh, let's just double check. Oh my goodness, seriously? There we go, 25 lands. It's an interesting one. So um, <laughs> as far as basic lands go, uh, one plains, one island, one swamp. We have two and two on the forest and the mountains. Uh, as far as shock lands go, two steam vents, two stopping ground, and four breeding pool. Uh, Trium lands, we've got Ketria Trium, as well as Ragrin Trium. Uh, and then we actually have two Lotus Fields here, which I think is really interesting. So we'll, 
we'll see how these go. Now, once again, I just want to reiterate, I did not make this list. Uh, it looks really, really fun, so I'm just kind of excited to play it. Uh, don't have high hopes for it, but the goal here today, I am making it our goal, is just to have some fun. We're not out to, to win a ton of games. We're not out to, to do the best, you know, in, in the ladder or anything like that. We're just out to have a little bit of fun. So that is now our goal for the day. Um, ah, very, very exciting kind of deck, though. I'm, I'm loving this. Um, all right, what do we got? Uh, no green mana. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I do actually think we can keep this surprisingly. We're not going to have great mana most of the time is my guess. So we're going to take this Triumph land. Oh, well, that actually helps quite a bit. Uh, let's play that out. Uh, this is actually great for us because it does mean we can get this down uh, pretty quickly here. Um, exile a card from our hand. Uh, mm, don't love that. Uh, let's get rid of this mountain. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this out. We just kind of have to hope we get there is really the only thing we can do. This is absolutely ridiculous, but hey, it's going to be fun. Uh, next turn, we can play out Zerda. Uh, we can shock ourselves to play it out. May not be worth it, but we'll see. Uh, let's do... We don't actually even have to shock ourselves, do we? Um... Let's do that, and let's just play out Zerta here. Um, just to, you know, kind of block if we need to. Um, we may not, we'll see what they do, uh, but yeah, it's it's worth it to stave off an attacker, I think, here. That's a big problem for us, uh, especially considering this is in our hand, though we do have another one. Oh, oh, that hurts. That hurts so bad. No, don't take it. Don't take it. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love how silly this deck is, guys. It's fun. Um, okay, uh, not the worst thing. It slows us down, which sucks, but, you know, not the worst thing. Uh, Narset, actually, not bad. Um, let's do this. We're going to be able to kill this spawn here, which is quite nice. Um, granted, we are going to be losing this, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, worse things have happened. We do kind of have to keep ourselves alive here. Um, uh, I'm not going to attack here. Um, I think we just really want to hold back uh, as best we can. Sure. Narset goes down. Makes sense. That's fine. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do the thing. Let's get the cyclone out. Um... <laughs> Uh, no attacks once again, uh, and next turn we're going to be cycling this, which is really just going to get us into either another Shark Typhoon or an Unpredictable Cyclone. Um, the hope is, though, that we can get uh, a Sorcery here at some point. Um, a block here. They can pump this up if they'd like. I'd kind of rather this die, uh, so they only draw one card. Um, but we'll see what they're going to do. Spawn, huh? Well, they get to play that out. Sure. Uh, let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So if we do this, uh, we can cycle away for... If we shock ourselves for four, uh... Get ourselves a four, four... But then we are pretty subject to uh, just kind of dying. So let's not do that. Go ahead and do this. Uh, unpredictable cyclone. Gonna hit. We get another cyclone. <laughs> how does this work as far as stacking? I don't know how that works, actually. Um, we're gonna find out. Uh, the assumption is we lost. Yeah, okay. All right. That's okay. This is game one. This is game one. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't you worry. This is this is for the sake of science and for the sake of fun. Uh, guys, I'm really excited also to uh, say we we got to open up a couple of boxes of Acoria uh, in person. 
uh, both a collector's box as well as a regular booster box. If you've not watched that, holy crap, uh, the collector's booster box, fantastic absolutely fantastic the value is amazing uh and the cards are beautiful oh my goodness are they beautiful uh absolutely love them uh this isn't a great hand because we don't have green mana this seems to be a very constant problem uh but i will keep because we do have teferi on three um and i think that's kind of worth trying out uh we'll throw that down first since it is our tap land uh also guys if you're interested in picking up one of our uh our our custom islands you can certainly do so uh we're really excited to say those are out uh for you guys right now uh the rest of them are on the way um they are in print production right now so they should be on their way very very soon um we also have the next uh month's patreon rewards uh or this month's patreon rewards on the way and i'm so excited this this month is a fantastic month for patreon I, I understand uh, not everybody's going to gonna want to put money towards that, and I can't blame you at all. Uh, but just a, a suggestion, if you would like to try it out, uh, this is seriously going to be the best month to do it. We've just got so much good stuff coming. Uh, let's do this. We'll put a... Uh, we'll do that, uh, and we'll just do this again. Put a catcher to try him down. Uh, and we'll play our land for the turn. We got to ramp up there. That was really nice. Um, the expectation is that the opponent is probably going to do something pretty massive very, very soon. Which, maybe not. Oh, are, is this the Colossus deck? Oh, it totally is. Classification. Um, <laughs> I'm glad we're against another silly deck. That's fun. Uh, this is a cool deck. We actually played a version of this. Um... Don't believe it was this exact list by any means, but it was very, very fun. Um, hmm. Let's grow Spiral first here. Put a land down. Do this. And we'll play out Zerda. All right. This is probably the turn they go for it, though, right? Yeah. So they're probably just going to win this turn, and that's fine. Uh, this is a cool list. They just fling it uh, at us and win. Yeah. Very, very cool. I love that list. That's a fun one. Um, sorry for the frame rates there, guys. I noticed just now that they dropped a little bit. All right. That's okay. We're learning, as I said. <laughs> Oh, this deck is silly. We ramped up like crazy. We just didn't have any cyclers uh, or the unpredictable cyclone, unfortunately. Um, what I'm learning, though, is this deck draws, like, super well, uh, which is really cool. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, Tender Vittles. Love that name. Uh, yeah. We'll keep. Guys, we're just on a learning experience. Uh I love playing these silly decks. It's very, very fun. Aluris deck, huh? Surprise. No turn one play is actually very, very good. Um, we'll go ahead and play that tapped and we'll pass. Uh, not Trying not to cycle this until we need to. Um, Teferi, great draw because next turn we can drop that uh, and bounce kind of whatever they do, uh, which looks like they're a cycler's deck. That's cool. Um... Uh, downside of this deck that I'm realizing, though, that I don't really like, uh, is that, you know, you do get a lot of ultimatums in hand, and they're pretty much dead cards for quite a while. Um, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, in this case, actually, I'm gonna play out this Paradise Druid. It's gonna help ramp us a little bit. Next turn, we can Migration Path or Teferi, depending on what they do. That's fine. I don't really care too much about that. They can cycle something here and gain a life if they'd like. Sure. Whoops. Sure, sure. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's do this here. Let's get... We've already got that out. So let's get you and you. We've already got our double red, so that's not a problem. Uh, 
even if this dies, that's not a problem. Uh, and yeah, they can attack in here, but that's fine. Next turn, we get to Unpredictable Cyclone. And if this lives, we get to immediately cycle Boon of the Wishgiver, which is going to be hopefully very, very cool. Um, sure. Um, we might actually get to see this work. We'll see. We'll also see what we hit. It could just be another boon. <laughs> we could just draw four cards. Um, not that that's bad, but, you know, obviously we're looking to hit something cool. We're just in it for cool points today, guys. That's literally all this is. Uh, yeah, let's drop this. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. We got a path. Well, that's not super exciting, but <laughs> that's fine. Uh, let's get you, and let's get you. Man, what a turn. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Oh, goodness, goodness. Guys, uh, also, um, if you're interested in joining our Discord, uh, we, we kind of had set, had one set up, for, like, a long, long time ago, um, and it was very, I mean, we didn't really do very much, uh, but if you're interested in, in uh, joining that, you certainly can. Um, it is available right now uh, on our website. There is a link at the very top. Uh, if you click the icon, you can get there. Uh, this is bad for us, obviously. Um, we we can in just straight up play Inspired Ultimatum, uh, which is not bad for us. I kind of think that's just what we need to do, right? We can play Narsets. Maybe Narsets actually better. Because we can get rid of the Flourishing Fox. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we drew a Cycler also. Uh, let's get rid of this because we're not going to be able to play it. Let's blow this up. Um. Hmm. Let's play Zerta first. Uh, that just gives us an extra blocker, and now we can cycle away this, and we get a Shark Typhoon. That's pretty sweet. So now, if we live next turn, we can inspire an ultimatum, get a crazy good shark, <laughs> and and really go ham, uh, which would be very, very fun. Um, I'm enjoying this. It might have been better also to get rid of this uh, instead of the Ruinous Ultimatum. Uh, not 100% sure though. Um, just because we have two of these, by the way, that's the only reason I say that. But I, I think this is just really, really good. So <laughs> it's hard not to want to take that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, good news here. I mean, we can just block, you know, whatever they attack in with um, since this isn't going to be attacking anytime soon. Uh, and we can probably just kill it next turn, which feels pretty good. Sure. Uh, we'll just take out this 2-2 two -two here. Not crazy worried about anything. Um, they're killing Narset makes perfect sense. That's totally fine. Um, but next turn we're going to start to hopefully take over just a little bit. Oh, and another Narset. Um, yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, target of player. Target player gains five life. Us. Five damage. Draw five cards and get a five five shark. Seems pretty good. They can cycle once here, um, but that's obviously not going to be good enough. Excuse me, seven seven shark. Because, oh, it adds two to the mana cost. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Holy crap, I love that. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's really good. Let's cycle this away. We'll see what we hit. Might get another Shark Typhoon. Oh my god, we did. Oh, we did it. Oh man, I am loving this. Get a 6-6 six, six Shark, because why not? Um, and we'll just throw this out there, Taps. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack here. I think we do need to start, you know, dealing some damage. These are going to help hopefully make that a lot easier but um we do kind of have to get the damage train going we also have a narset coming up or more inspired ultimatums this is this is sick 
Um, we've gained five life. We dealt with their strongest threat. Granted, they can replay it. They've got Luris, so they can replay it. Um, but, like, that was really good. That was really sweet. Oh. Oh. They just won off of a Zenith Flare. That sucks. Okay, we didn't win any games. Um, here's the thing, though. That last game was sweet. Um, that was really, really, really fun. Um, and I think that's what this deck is looking to do. It's not trying to win all the time. It's just trying to be a fun deck. And that was great. So I'm excited to uh, continue trying this one out. Hopefully we'll actually win a game. I think we were close there. Uh, so I, I think we would, uh, we'll, we'll get there hopefully once. But I love this one. I definitely recommend trying this if you're just interested in having some fun on the ladder. This is certainly a great way to do it. Uh, and honestly, um, really quick to separate of all this please do check out some of our more recent videos we've got a lot of stuff up there for you guys uh, multiple box openings we've got new content coming out uh, we've got things for sale on our website that were not previously for sale we've got a lot of stuff coming so uh, we really do appreciate the support lately guys without that we wouldn't be able to do any of this uh, so thank you thank you especially to the patrons for uh, really really helping us out and giving us uh, a little bit more each month so that we can actually do some of this stuff. We can invest a little bit. So I uh, really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you with part two of this unpredictable ultimatum deck very, very soon. Uh, see you then, guys.